What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Prime U Dynasty here in NCAA 06. We're starting year number five, and we're going to be taking on Penn State, then West Virginia. They're going to be on the road at Arizona. They're going to be taking on Ole Miss, South Kakalaki, Mississippi State. Then we got a bye. Then we take on Georgia. Then we have another bye. And then we're going to be taking on LSU on the road and on the road at Florida back to back weeks. Then Kentucky at home. Then Tennessee and Michigan to finish things off, man. It ain't going to be easy, but we can get it done. We had a pretty good recruiting class the number one recruiting class in the land but these guys are still freshmen so we're gonna have to wait to see what these guys can do first pass play is complete to bell bell is rocking a new number going from 43 to 7 4 plus 3 equals 7 so it kind of makes sense anyways man turner he's hot so far gonna find scott makes the reception for a gain of nine then turner looking downfield he decides to take it himself and the big QB rumbles forward for a first down. Now turning out of the gun, about to let that thing fly, and Scott makes another reception. I guess we can see who the go-to guy is so far. Third down and one, we give it to Bell, gets away from two Nittany Lions, and picks up a first down. Now we're looking downfield, and that's going to be tipped and picked on third down and four, and that's going to lead to a fumble, but Penn State is able to jump on it, and we got to get the ball right to Penn State. So now we're on defense without getting any kind of points, and my boy, little Debo, making plays already. Then Walden getting in there, baby, and forcing a three and out. Why run the ball on this defense on third down? It's not a smart move. We get the ball to Bell, and Bell's going to pick up a first down move. Those change from the gun. Looking downfield is Turner letting that thing fly in the freshman. 6'6", six, six, Ben Midlock. Let's go, baby. Very next play, we give the ball to Bell, and Bell gets into the end zone. That's his first career touchdown, and it couldn't have come at a better time as it gives us a seven-point lead. Smith gets the carry, and Jonathan Smith goes nowhere as my boy Brothers gets up in there for the takedown, and we force yet another three and out. And you know this offense is cooking. We hit him with a play fake, taking the shot deep to the sophomore Everett, who makes the catch. He kind of bobbled it, but it doesn't matter. A catch is a catch. Very next play, go right back to him again. Touchdown, Red Hawks. My man Everett with his first touchdown of the season. And now we're back on offense, back on defense, excuse me, with a 14-point lead. They're going to find more, and that's Penn State's first first down of the ball game. Jonathan Smith gets another carry, but little Debo laying the man down. Big time hit. This defense, this linebacker core, I should say, is beastly. And brothers, he's beastly too. Gets in there for the sack. And now we take right back over. Going over the middle. going to be caught by Bell. He's going to fall forward. And he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Second down in inches. Going to the flat to Bell. This time he's going to finish the job and pick up the first down. So from the 42, second down and 10. We get the ball to Pope and Pope. Gets put on his backside from the 44. Third down and eight. Turner looking. Has the man down through the sides to tuck it and run himself. And he has enough for a fresh set of downs. Turner under some pressure. Rolls right. Runs it to the ref. And then gets ran down by a couple of Nittany Lions. Loss of 14. We get the ball to the halfback. And that's a loss of three. So it's third down and forever. And another sack. The floodgates have opened. Our offensive line cannot contain the blitz anymore. And we go down again. So we give the ball right back to Penn State. Jonathan Smith gets the carry but runs right into a man on the ground. What were you doing? We force another three now. Third down and eight. Turner looking downfield and he's going to get sacked again. And now we go three and out. So a bunch of three and outs. And now we have a chance on special teams to make something happen. We recovered the muff punt. And we got this thing going back the other way. Turner looking downfield and that's going to be batted away and again. We go three and out. So Penn State, they, they have the ball. Looking to this milk the clock, but Jonathan Smith has different plans. Matter of fact, he has reservations for six. He's to the 20, the 10-5. Touchdown, Penn State. And on the last possession for them this half, they score on a massive TD run. But we still got a chance, man. This half's not quite over. We were looking to run out the clock, but look at Bill working his way upfield, weaving through traffic, and we're going to call a timeout and see what we can do. Now Turner looking for the true freshman. Big Ben makes the catch down the sideline. Now it's fourth down and 15 with only six seconds on the clock. We take a shot D. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Everett is in there for the second time today. This receiving core, nasty. If Turner cannot turn the ball over, we will be all good. 
we will be all good. Here we go, man. Going to the second half. They're going to get the ball to Big Dean, and the fullback runs hard for a first down. From the 36, they're going to get the ball to Big Smith. Runs a man smooth over, and he's going to pick up a gain of five. Second down to five. They give it to Smith again, and again, he's running people over, trying to weave through traffic. Gets brought down by Thorne, but now it's going to be third down, and when they give it to him again, he's able to get away from Thorne and pick up the first down and much more. He's over 100 yards on just 10 carries. He's now Glover, the QB. He decides to try his hand at running. And Penn State has over 132 yards running already. We have less than 20. Things have changed here at Prime U. So on third down, we get that user sack, and we take right back over. This is the second half. We do have the lead. Let's run the ball. Take some time away from Penn State. But you got to hang on to the ball, Bill. You got to do it. But he failed to do it. They give us to Smith. He hangs on to the ball. He picks up just a couple. So it's second down and eight. Taking the shot deep downfield. And Harris makes the catch in between three black jerseys. The give us to Dean. Touchdown. And the fullback rumbles to the end zone. Gives Penn State 14 points on the board. So it's 21 to 14. The give us to Pope trying to do what it does. Whenever you fumble, we have horses in the stable. All right, this might, this might not be a running school, even though we probably should have ran the ball right there because that is an interception. He fumbles the football, but Penn State recovers it. So not the best decision right there. But as I, as I was saying, we do have a lot of running backs on the roster, and there's not too much separation between them all. So if you fumble, you're going to be on the bench, and somebody's going to be taking your spot quick, fast, and in a hurry. So from the 16-yard line, play fake. Glover looking towards the end zone. Should have been a Yahoo's or her, but it's a no-no for us and a oh yes for Penn State. Touchdown to the big tied in, and now it's all tied up. And it didn't seem that long ago that we were up by 14 points, but now it's 21-21. Turner dropping this one off to the flat. Sam Smith makes the catch, not the single, but the tailback. He's going to pick up five. Turner looking downfield, and that's going to be caught. This, this true freshman is balling. Is balling. Turner looking downfield. Can he do something with it? He throws a pick, and Weaver is going to take this one to the crib. Touchdown, Penn State, and just like that, they take the lead on our fourth turnover of the game. So Gardner, he comes in not just to run the option. He's a pretty good quarterback in his own right. He's going to try to lead us to a comeback victory. We go with the option again. This time he's going to keep it, and he's going to pick up a first down. Looking downfield, he's going to look to pass Garner. He's going to set his feet and fire this one to Big Ben, the freshman, doing work, trying to lead this comeback. Garner has it set up from the gun on third down. Looking downfield, he rolls to the left side. He's going to set his feet and fire again. And Hudson makes the catch first and goal inside the five. We're going to run the option with Garner. He pitches it to Pope. And that goes nowhere except for backwards. Loss of one on the play. Now it's going to be second down and goal from the two. We get it back to the one. Third down and goal. We give it to Pope trying to get into the end zone, but he cannot. So it's fourth and goal. We are on the doorstep of tying this ball game, and we throw another pick. Golden is gone. You're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Penn State on a pick six to seal this one. And that's the read we should have made. We had every on the slant route. He was open between the cornerback and the linebacker, but we did not make that pass. So game number one of this video did not go our way, but we're going to be taking on West Virginia in the second half. You see that uh, Gardner, he was two for five. A lot of those incompletions came after that initial drive because there was still some time on the clock, but we didn't complete a single pass, so why even show you guys that? The 6'6", 205 true freshman had himself a day. I want to see if he can do it again versus West Virginia. Our receiving core is pretty nice, man. Linebacker core, receiving core, definitely our strengths. DB is still a little shaky. Of course, we got the homie Chris, uh, Christian Kemp, but it's uh, our DBs get burnt a lot. Anyways, man, let's do this. Taking on West Virginia, we are back at home. This is their first game of the season, of course. We're trying to bounce back after that loss to Penn State. So Turner, he's back at starter quarterback. We're just going to act like that first game didn't happen. And Dorsey, he's ready to forget that first game, too. He makes the catch, runs a man over, and picks up a big first down from the gun. Turner rolls to the right side. He's going to set his feet, lets this one go to Scott. And the Sean Scott's in the end zone touchdown Red Hawks and this game could be a shootout cook 
out of the gun. Play fake in the fine chambers who makes the catch. Benjamin Walden brings him down. The give us to Williams gets put on his back. Defense is here balling and we get off the field after we put the first and three and out. So they give us to Bell. I, I got picks up a gain of seven. They give us to Bell again, and he's going to pick up the first down by the hairs of a chinny chin chin. So from the 46 draw line, it's first down and 10. Turner looking downfield, has Alexander, but he wanted to set his feet before he let it go, and that's going to result in a sack. Looking downfield again, and Deshaun Scott having himself a couple of games so far this season. If I do so, say my self. Now we're going to find Hudson. He picks up a nice game. Send him third down and two for the 24. Turner running the speed option. Pitches it to Bell. And Bell falls forward for a fresh set of downs for the Red Hawks from the 17. Turner lets that thing spin to Deshaun Scott. First and goal inside the five. Three catches, 94 yards for him, but still in the first quarter. Then Bell gets into the end zone again. 13-0 with the PAT. It's 14-0. Williams meet little Debo. Jeff Smith. Laying nothing but haymakers. Cook to the flat. Gonna find Chambers. Makes the catch. And that's gonna set up third down and six. Direct snap. But Walden is there. This linebacker course for real. Remember that. Second down and seven as we take over. We're gonna take a shot deep to the 6'6 six, six freshman. Figure we'll give him a jump ball. It ends up being like a punt. But we don't want to throw picks. We don't want to give West Virginia any extra chances because they take a shot deep. Christian kept man on man coverage gets burnt by Alexander. And now it's 14 to 7. Going over the middle. Caught by Scott. That's going to be a fresh set of downs for the prime U Red Hawks. Turner looking downfield. He has Dorsey. Makes another catch. Able to pick up another first down for us. Eight first downs for us. Just one for West Virginia. But it's still just a seven-point game. Dorsey makes another catch. Now we can get the ball to Bell. Bell weaving through traffic. Tries the spin move and fumbles again. And this time Battle is going to take it to the crib. 20. 10-5, he can go all the way, and that's exactly what he does. So, Bill, man, every time you fumble, my guy, put you on the bench, son. So, at the 10, y'all on Christian Kemp. At the 30, goes Kemp. To the 40, to midfield, and gets bumped out of bounds by his own man, but still a good return. But it should have been a house call. So, Turner has time, decides to roll out. Looking for Ben. Let's that thing fly on the run. It's caught. Makes a man miss. Touchdown, Medlock. Let's go. First of his career, which could be many. That dude, he's wearing 11. We, we, we're, we're, we're rocking red and black. He kind of reminds me of Julio. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyways, man, they are down the field quick, fast, in a hurry. They can pass with the best of them, too. They run the ball. They pick up, too. They go back to the ground. No, they should have. It was a play fake and Cook. Lay it down. My man Walton is there for the sack. Cook on third down, going nowhere as Arnold, true freshman cornerback. We got a bunch of them on the squad, man. He makes a tackle right there. He's playing on nickel, makes a tackle, forces a field goal attempt. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So we got time left in the first half. What can we do with it? We give the ball to Pope. Pope gets put on his back. So now it's going to be second down and 11 from the 20. Turner with time decides to leave the pocket. Throws it on the run and can't quite get it to Big Ben. Looking downfield is Turner on third down. Not going to be able to let that thing go get sacked. Fumbles the football boy there to recover it. But now West Virginia has a chance. On third and three. Can we get off the field? No, we can't. As Smith runs hard for a first down, the big fullback does his job. Looking to pass is West Virginia going to find Williams out of the backfield, but another true freshman cornerback is there for the tackle. Cook drops back, lets that thing fire over the middle, and that's going to fall incomplete. Probably should have been picked. So we take back over with a chance to increase our lead, but our O-line continues to allow pressure as we get sacked again. Third down and 17, taking the shot down the sideline, and that would have been a tough catch. The hit got there as soon as the ball did, and we go three and out. 55 seconds to go in the first half, and we get a strip. My man Thorne forces the fumble, and then Walden recovers it. He fumbles, and four jumps on top of that one. Let's go. Up by four. Can we now increase our lead? Looking downfield, and now it's going to be batted away. Fourth and three. We, we decide to go for it. Going to find Dorsey. Makes the catch, and that's going to lead to a field goal attempt. If we knock this one home, we're going to take a seven-point lead in the halftime, and that's exactly what we do. 24-17 is the score.
So here we go, man. Second half football. We are up by seven. Cook looking to fire this one over the middle. It does, but it's caught by the grass, so that's incomplete. First and 10 from the 32nd. We take over to give us the Pope running hard. He's going to pick up a gain of about six. Second down and four. Give it to Pope again. Has a big fella out in front. Nice execution, and that's going to be a first down. We can give it to Pope again, but this time he fumbles. And now you guys are still on the bench too, Pope. What are you guys doing? Hang on to the ball. And now West Virginia has a chance to tie. They give it to Williams. And look at Arnold. I love me a cornerback that can tackle. Just love it. Cook looking downfield. That's going to be caught and dropped. Big time play by the receiver helping us out. Turner looking downfield. Has a man. It's the freshman. Ben Medlock is gone. Touchdown prime you. And just like that, we increase our lead by two touchdowns. 31 to 17, but this team has some firepower too. But my man Thorne is trying to cool them down. That's why I put out their flames, baby. Second down and 10, Cook taking a shot deep down the sideline, caught by Alexander, again brought down by little Debo, but a huge gain, and now they're inside our territory. But that's gonna be a loss. Thorne gets in the backfield, brings them down. Now they're on their side of the 50. It's going to be third down and nine from the 48, taking the shot deep, and that's going to be caught by Moore. Give me some more touchdown, West Virginia. And now they cut the lead down from 14 to seven. So can our offense answer? Turner looking downfield, throws a mistake. Should have never even threw that pass, shouldn't have even called that play. That play got to go. First down and 10 for West Virginia. Can they get the lead or tie the game, I should say. Alexander makes the catch. Thought we had a pick with my man Benjamin Walden. Look at Thorne getting in there. Eighth tackle of the game so far. Cook looking to the left side. Finds Alexander. Gets away from Christian Kemp. Headed towards the end zone. But Benjamin catches him from behind. From the 11th. Third down and nine. Cook takes off and gets away from about six black jerseys. And gets it to the end zone. That's ridiculous. Somebody tackle this kid. We are desperate for a win. We have our two first games at home. We're only going to have four more on the season at home. We have got to win this one. It's, it, we cannot drop this one. We just can't. They give us to Gray, who is actually our fastest running back with 90 speed. We give it to him again. Makes the man miss. Picks up the first down and more. Move those chains for the Red Hawks. Second down and eight. Turner looking downfield. He's going to stop, pop, find the Sean Scott. And Scott gets dragged down from behind but makes the catch. Third down and two. Turner takes it himself. He's going to fall forward and have another fresh set. Looking downfield is Turner. Has Hudson behind the coverage. Touchdown from you. Fourth TD pass on the game so far, 38 to 31. Cook looking downfield, sets his feet and lets that thing spin, and that's going to be caught by Moore yet again. Will our defense give up another touchdown? Williams, he gets the carry, gets bottled up though at the line of scrimmage. So now it's going to be second down and 12 from the 28. Cook decides to keep it, and he's going to get brought down by Walden, and that's going to set up third down and six from the 22. Cook with time, breaks one tackle, and that's going to be caught by Alexander. Excellent play by the QB. Now Williams gets the direct snap, gets into the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia from the 20. Here comes Turner. Looking down, field going to find Ben. And Ben is loose to the 50, to the 40. He can go to the crib. Touchdown, Big Ben. 6 6 2 oh, 5 true freshman. Straight balling. Look out, Aaron Coley. First down in 10. Play fake. Cook looking downfield. Give me that Yahoo. Zay Hurt. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. Got this thing on back the other way. We can give this thing to Gray. Gonna cut up field. Gets a nice block and gets into the end zone. We will force a three and out. And we're gonna score with my man Sam Smith. The tailback, not the singer. And it's going to be a 48 to 38 ball game with the PAT. It's a 59 to 38 final. Big time win at home. We needed this. We couldn't go to 0 and 2 with having our first two games at home being L's. That would have been a huge, huge disaster to start the season. But we got one out of we got one out of two. I was hoping for two out of two, but it didn't work out that way. But you 
you know what? We live and we learn. We, we take on Arizona on the road next week. Hopefully we get it done on the road there. And then we have Ole Miss at home. But their receiver that was killing us the past couple of years, Stuart, he's no longer there. So ha ha to that. I'm happy for they all. Stuart is probably in the NFL somewhere causing DB's headaches. But for right now, he's, he's not bothering us. And I'm happy to say he's no longer bothering us. So Christian Kemp, hopefully you, you can make some plays versus Ole Miss and versus Arizona. But that's going to do it, man. That freshman, Ben, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can't wait to see what he does next week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.